Welcome everyone to episode 100 of my blind playthrough of Trails of Cold Steel. This is just the second time that we have reached triple digits in Never Played. First one being Persona 3 Fest, of course. And didn't think this game will, will actually reach 100 episodes. Especially with me not recording the dungeon crawling parts of the game. Well, we're here, and this might just be the final episode. 80% probability, I'd say. Where's the bonfire? It's not yet lit up. There we go. That's so... How were they able to synchronize it? Perfectly. Gaius doesn't seem impressed. There's no one here but the family members. Everyone else were sent out. Yeah, for orchestrating and <laughs> directing the show. You mean for the, the show. concert? What brought that on? You got so serious there, I was getting kind of scared. Damn, man. Is making people feel awkward a hobby of yours or something? That's a skill. Aw, it's no big deal. Besides, it was a real team effort. Everyone played a part. I mean, look at you. You were a fountain of good advice through this whole thing. And honestly, I should be the one thanking everyone. Yeah, it was Elliot's dream to have such a show, you right? You helped me rediscover just how much music means to me. Because it's not just about performing by myself. It's about performing together, playing off each other's strengths to make something wonderful. So I should be the one thanking you. This never would have happened if I didn't come to this academy. Uh, you shouldn't take us for bringing you to the academy. That wasn't because of us. Thank your Holy dad hell, for that. Holy hell, are you guys trying to see who can make me cringe the hardest? Whoa, is he drunk? <sighs> Does he always have to say that stuff so loudly? Sorry, I'll see you later, okay? What about those three guys over to the right? Everyone's just frozen. Never realized that Crow has earrings. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. Generally, people stay in the same class from their first day to their graduation, but... Class 7 is basically one giant exception to everything the school's ever done, so who knows? If I manage to graduate, at least. Barring any nasty surprises, I'll be in Class 7 till the end of the month. Which means our time as classmates is almost up. <laughs> Come on, it's no big deal. It's normal to have a Trust farewell me, party. You're still gonna see more than enough of me next year. Sure, I'll have moved out of the dorms, but I'll be sure to stop by once a week to steal some of Sharon's cooking. Didn't know his name is Armbrust. <laughs> of course not. And if I ever catch you calling me Mr. Armbrust again, I'm gonna smack you. Oh, In the yeah. ass! I guess it's about time I gave you this back. The coin? Yeah. Very first time you met him. Feelings mutual. Besides, I never return the mirror that I borrow. Makes that coin extra special. So go on, take it. 
and he just walks away after that. Oh man, what kind of racket are you running here anyway? I thought you were supposed to be a good kid. Where the things I do for love. All right, all right, you'll get your stupid interest someday. Maybe. Okay, then, Curl, maybe we'll, you'll learn some new tricks later. Everyone's doing the same dance. We're definitely going to be asked to pick one, right? Alfin, I am drawn to the party before us like a moth to a flame. Like a starving man to a banquet. Like beauty to me. There's the Alivert that we know and love. The poet. What say you we grace the dancers with the gift of our company? <laughs> it's as though you read my mind. Where's Elise, by the way? Come now, don't waste your time watching. It's time to dance. <laughs> no need to worry about formalities tonight. Let's all relax, enjoy ourselves, and maybe let a few secrets slip. Like what kind of secret? Dirty old grandpa Allow wants to dance me, with Sharon. Sharon. Before every red blooded boy in this school lines up for a chance. <laughs> it would be my honor. Sharon's game. Madam Chairman, might I have this dance? Okay. <laughs> of course. What about the kids? Given that our former North. partners left the dance all too soon, we seem to make for an appropriate pair. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Well, what about. Instructor, I cannot thank you enough for all you've done for what my What about daughter. Elliot's dad? I oh, can, yeah. however, Her ask daughter. you for the pleasure of this dance. Really? Why are oh, you surprised? Well, he's just my type, too. Hmm? Oh, just talking to myself. Really, well, George? I'll yeah. be dancing with all my little kittens by the end of the night. I was expecting it will be Crow with Angelica. But I suppose I can let you take the first dance. Well, I don't mind. But seeing you in that dress is enough to make any guy feel intimidated. They waste no time, do they? It's no surprise that my grandfather made a beeline for Sharon, but I never expected to see Mother dancing. <laughs> in some ways, it seems as though they're younger than we are. Now it's our turn. Time to pair up. Well, Elise, who are you gonna dance with? You've given me more than enough of your time already today. Between showing me around and your incredible concert, you must be exhausted. And besides, I'm sure there's someone else you'd rather dance with here. Why not us them instead? All right, we have five options here. Well, actually, everyone's here. All the girls of class seven. I'm picking Laura. <laughs> I knew it. Really? So I have a potential sister-in-law oh, now, do I? Oh, a generic answer. Really? She can dance with some with Crow, Besides, right? If you spend all this time worrying about me, the music will be over by the time you ask.
Is she sad? Of course she is. He's such an idiot. Ah, oh, Elise. They're done dancing? Your Highness? The generally accepted strategy here would be to keep his eyes on you, not push him toward another girl's tender embrace. If you were to only gather the courage to ask him, I'm certain that he would be more than accommodating. It's fine. I'm fine, honestly. Oh, no. Will we see more of this? Brother, sister, love in the sequel. Whoa! That's a surprise. Taking the charge, huh? What about the guys? Who are they dancing with? Elliot, Gaius, Yusis, Mapius. Well, Yusis and Mapius can dance with each other. I think they're the best pair. No words. Just dance. Sorry, Alyssa. Oh, okay. We have a special cutscene after the dance. <laughs> well, I didn't imagine either of us would have much energy left over after our performance. Still, that didn't keep dancing with you from being a lot of fun. I don't get the chance to dance very often, especially at big events like this. I suppose this was a new experience for the both of us then. Attending this academy has given me the chance to see sides of myself that I didn't even know existed. When I first enrolled in this academy, I wanted nothing more than to improve my swordsmanship. Sure. But when I arrived, I met people whose values differed wildly from my own. People like you and Fee. That's what makes schools amazing. That allowed people. me to see the world in ways I never considered to see myself in ways I never considered. Thanks to you and our other classmates, I've gained far more than combat training, and I am truly grateful. But thanks to especially me, right? How so? Reen. As am I. And I suppose that's enough for now. What does that mean? <laughs> Don't worry, it's nothing. I'm glad that the two of us have another year to train alongside each other. It's a friendly banter. Here with you tonight. Okay, that was the special scene with Laura. We have trophies involved, so I probably am gonna look at the others as well, but I'll do that off screen. Reen, Elise? Oh, Claire. Claire? Are you finally gonna say hi to us? You've been ignoring me the whole day. <laughs> well, it's not as though I performed on stage in front of an auditorium full of people or anything. I really enjoyed your concert, by the way. That's the kind of thing that makes me proud to be an alumni. Yeah, we did. We never knew, huh? I thought I just forgot, but I was thinking to, to myself, she was a student here?
looks like that's where the sequel is heading towards the big conflict with Crossbell and I don't I don't know I haven't read anything about the sequel but I'm guessing we'll have a conflict with Calvert as well involving Crossbell Crossbell will be the center of it all of course the Liberation Front will make an appearance as well probably Uh oh, Judy calls. Looks like the royal family is going to go home. Fireworks? What was that? What's that sound? Or is it ominous music? Something serious has happened. Man, this music is serious. What has happened in Heimdall or in Crossbell? Something big has happened. Why can't you tell us? Why does it have to be someone else? If we're, if we're gonna get the info anyway, why do you have to build the suspense like that? And every major people or I don't know, every important figure is now leaving. Something definitely has happened. Don't tell me the the emperor has been assassinated. Hmm. They're all going out. Are we in a state of war? Students and visitors, I cannot thank you enough for your attendance today. I hereby proclaim the 127th Thor's Military Academy Festival complete. Okay, now drop the bomb on us. What is it? What's the big incident that just happened? Festival has ended. Now, the state of war has but begun. But I am afraid I must announce this with a heavy heart, as we have just received word from the imperial government. Here we go. Two things I'm predicting: assassination to the emperor, or war declaration. That this evening, Gorelia Fortress, oh no. which rests on the eastern border of the empire has been destroyed by who no destruction is an inadequate word an unknown weapon has erased the fortress in its entirety from Holy existence crap. deleted erased eradicated I would ask that all of our guests from that region or otherwise please try to remain calm yeah what happened to Nightheart? he's the one leading the folks there that was serious. Gorelia, that big fort. Just like that. I wonder if they're gonna show us what happened or if they're gonna show that in the sequel. All right, one week has passed. What happened between then and now? It's crazy.
did it was it transported to another dimension does crossbell have a secret weapon That's a big problem that Erebonia has. It's like saying your main defensive structure is removed. What's, that's the threat that they have against Calvard. Sarah is busy. It's appropriate that Marcus is the one who snapped. Oh, okay. Nightheart survived, so that's good. Yeah, the railway guns. It's maybe, I think it. It teleported somewhere else. Everything we've been doing for this game this is where it all leads. Trouble in the in crossbell. And pending trouble with Erebonia. Million and Crow. Sarah. So what's next? It is serious. But I'm surprised that we waited a week. Well, at least Sarah still has a sense of humor. That's good. I bet Milliam is busy with an assignment. Of course she's not going to tell us. Alright, looks like the game's not over yet. Are we going to walk around? here in class 7 let's let's visit everybody
Can I still buy? Yeah, I can still buy weapons. Of course, uh, who's in here? Machias? Yeah, he's probably on the second floor. Wow. Looks like this will not yet be the final episode of the game. And you're still reading here? What the hell is wrong with you? It's been a week. You still haven't moved. It's a crisis. That's the word to describe it. Okay. Oh wait, Toba must be here. Oh, there she is. Why not? Oh, he know. Crow is up to something. George is the other exclamation mark, but I don't want to go there yet. Uh, let's see. Gymnasium. Laura's back with the swimming team. There she is. I think that's Monica, right? The other girl. Alright, next. Let's visit Emma at the rooftop. I don't think I've ever seen her in the rooftop before. It's usually Fee who hangs out here. Any thoughts, Emma? Then want some milk? No. Let's visit Elliot and Gaius back at their clubs. Wait, was that Elliot? Yeah, that's him. Everything is gonna be alright. Somebody needs to say that, you know, in times of trouble like this. So I just did it for you. Guys in the next room. Right here. Where is he? Alright, let's visit our dear instructor. Hi, Professor Thomas. What do you think about this? Thank you. 
Yeah, Septarian, what the hell is that? Seven treasures, that's why it's Sep. Looks like that's what we're dealing with in the sequel. Sarah's probably on the other side. Not you, Beatrix. In here. You're alive, Nightheart. Are you in cahoots? It's gonna fully focus on the military. We're gonna see more of you in the sequel. I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, oh, there's Sarah. All right, Academy Field. Let's chat with. Listen, uses, and then we'll end with. Feet. Back with the lacrosse team. Definitely not her fault. Alright, let's talk to Mr. Alborea here. What are your thoughts? Let's walk to Fee because she's not in any building. She's beside the gymnasium. Oh, oh the flowers, the plants, that's where she's hanging out. Okay, that was nothing. What's in the old schoolhouse? But let's first go to the engineering building. We'll have a chat with George next time. I don't know if I'm gonna say that it's the last episode because the game still seems to be rolling along indefinitely. So I'll see you guys in episode 101 here in Trails of cold steel.